In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new HTML file and then how to put text into an HTML file and then how to use some of the tools in the WebStorm code editor to help format that text. So here on the week two folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select new and just file, not an HTML file, just file. We'll give it a name. I'm going to call this constitution.html. Click OK. Now in the week two folder, we can see the constitution HTML file. Here it is. It's blank. Now as you begin learning HTML and CSS, you're going to learn about all of the different beginning tags, closing tags, but in WebStorm it's going to be important for you to also learn how to use Emmet. Emmet. Emmet is a wonderful tool to help you write the code that you're going to need to write in WebStorm. I'll give you an example. If I type an exclamation mark and then press tab, Emmet activates and creates the entire basic HTML file structure for me. I don't have to do anything except type in that exclamation mark. Those, the exclamation mark I typed in is called an abbreviation and then I simply type the abbreviation and press tab and then Emmet expands and places all the code where it's supposed to be. Now it highlights the EN on line 2 because that's the first editable value in this code and I don't really need to change that so I'll press tab and it'll take me down to the title and here I'm just going to type in US Constitution. I'll just go ahead and press Control S to save that. Now I want to go into our project folder and we have a file here called constitution.txt. I'm going to double click to open that and here is the entire Constitution of the United States. I'm going to use Control A like I would in any text document and then Control C to copy. Now we're, we will always place the, the text or the images or whatever that we want to have displayed on a web page will always go between the body tags. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to tab over one time just for the sake of indentation. Then I'll hit Control V to paste all of the Constitution into my HTML file. And at the very bottom there are those last two lines of the HTML basic file structure. And then if I go to the top, here is my original doc type and my head section. And then there's that opening body. Now one of the things I want to show you is a feature, and you're going to have to explore in WebStorm to find some of these, but there is a really great tool. I want to just show you. I'm going to highlight this first line, and I'm going to come up to Code, and then here it says Surround With, and notice that it gives me a keyboard shortcut, Control-Alt-T. Now this is a Windows computer. So Control Alt T. So what I can do with this text highlighted, I can hit Control Alt T and I get the surround with dialog box. The first option is to surround all of that with some sort of an HTML tag. So I'm just going to select that. I'll hit click it. And then notice what it does. It creates the opening and closing brackets at the opening and closing part of the text that I highlighted. Now the insertion point is placed between the less than and greater than symbols. I'm just going to make this an H1. So now that quickly I have placed an H1 tag element around the title of the Constitution of the United States. All of this section right here, this should be a paragraph. So Control Alt T and then I'm just going to hit enter to select that T2 surround with tag then I'll just press the P key to 
put the P for paragraph between the less than and greater than symbols and notice that it places it in the proper place down in the closing tag. And so just that simple, I can use the tools that are in WebStorm to help me highlight a section, Control alt t Enter, type a P, and so on. Whatever tag I want to put around these, I'm just going to highlight the area first, Control alt t and then type either H1 or P or whatever it is I'm going to type around to enclose that. So learn to use these tools. You'll find them up here and as you find something that you can use, always look for the keyboard shortcut and see if you can use it to make your work a lot easier.